Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen a few of the session properties that we set before running a workflow. Among them were fail parent if task fails and the other one was write backward compatibility log files. Today we'll be discussing another property which is the target load type. This option can be found in the mappings tab of the session properties. Bulk loading improves the performance of a session that inserts a large amount of data to the target database. When bulk loading, when bulk loading, the integration service bypasses the database log, which speeds up performance. Without writing to the database log, however, the target database cannot perform rollback. As a result, you may not be able to perform recovery. In normal load, the database log is not bypassed and therefore the target database can recover from an incomplete session. When you are using bulk load, if there are any indexes defined on the table, you have to drop them before loading. After the data is loaded, you can enable or recreate the indexes. If you did not drop the indexes, session will fail. Bulk load is used when you are loading large amount of data. This is more than 100 GB. Bulk load makes the data loading faster. Now let's take a look at a practical example of the bulk load versus the normal load. Let's open the workflow manager and connect to our repository, which is in for training. Username administrator, password oracle, open the training folder. This is a workflow <coughs> which we're using to transfer data from the HR's employee table to the target employee table. Now, let's see, open the session and its properties. Earlier we saw that we created an index over the employees table for the employee ID column named emp.idx. Now, if we go to the targets option, and we select the bulk load. The session should fail because a target table with indexes should not cannot be loaded with bulk load. So let's save it and see what happens. Start the workflow. It'll take you to the uh, workflow man monitor. And here you can see that the employee session failed. And so did the workflow mo uh, workflow. Let's go to the session log and see what happened. Scroll it down, scroll down a bit, and here you can see that the bulk mode was turned on. And here you can see that a database error occurred, which table target employees had indexes defined upon it, which means that indexes defined on a table cannot be loaded with bulk load. The write to run terminated, and the write to run terminated. Okay, so now we know that the bulk load failed due to. The index is defined on the table. Now let's go back to the workflow manager and okay, let's first drop the index. And then load it with bulk load. So let's see what happens then. Drop index emp underscore idx. Execute this. Okay, the index has been dropped. Let's go back to the workflow manager and start the workflow again. Okay, the session is running. Yes, perfect. The session succeeded and so did the workflow and 107 rows were applied to the target. This is because there were no indexes defined on the target table, which means that it was loaded using bulk load and it took you 10 seconds to do that okay now let's go back and create the indexes again okay the index has been created let's select the load type as a normal load now and see if the workflow succeeds Save it. And let's
let's run the worker now. Okay, now it has succeeded. Let's go to the session log and see what happened. Yeah, here we can see that the bulk load has been turned off, which means that it's normal load, and the session loaded with the target with normal load. So, bulk load is quite fast, but it has its constraints on it. But, so, what we can do is, we can use bulk load and drop any indexes before running it and recreate the indexes afterwards. So, in the following lectures, we'll be looking at the, an example how to work around this. So, stay with us and take care.